All right, let's talk about controlling the intercom and the audio panel in the Gen 7 SR-20 and 22 aircraft. So first off, the intercom. We push the little intercom button. You notice right now, pilot, co-pilot, and the passenger all have those green arrows behind us, or between them. And what that really means is that everybody can uh, talk to everybody and hear everyone. And essentially, if I want to create a situation where certain people uh, are isolated, for example... Take for energy eight zero. Energy eight zero traffic no factor. Climb maintain one two twelve thousand. Okay, climb to one two twelve thousand. If we need to change our individual six the mic traffic, two o'clock ten miles southeast on a Navajo five thousand. And Sierra six Lima Mike is searching. Sierra six Lima Mike for that traffic looks like you guys may merge. Uh, maintain v VFR at four above fifty five hundred. All right, at or above fifty five hundred uh, six Lima Mike. All right, so back to the video. All right, we'll keep our eye open for the uh, Navajo. I'm um, seeing them on TCAS. They're pretty far behind us. Not sure if we're going to actually merge. But, so, individual volumes eight, of like, the, the intercom is you touch G that individual, like and then three, with, three, with the little six, uh, six, volume six, knob six, in the six, bottom right-hand side of the GTC number two, in this case, we're changing the volume for the pilot's intercom. I want to turn off the squelch and do a manual squelch. This is how I would change the manual squelch. Again, the co-pilot's volume and squelch, and then the passenger's um, volume and squelch. Now, for the audio panel... Six six Lima Mike, contact next to approach, 118.0. 18.0, six Lima Mike. Knoxville approach, Sierra 306, Lima Mike, 5,500. Sierra 306, Lima Mike, Knoxville approach, Knoxville Tim, 3045. 3045, Traffic Lima like, Mike. You got him? Yeah. I don't see him yet. Uh, he's a dot, I got him. All right. Just pulled the run. So, the audio, the audio panel controls. So let's talk about the tabs. Pilot, co-pilot, passengers. Uh, one of the things I love about Garmin Touch is the ability to customize who listens to what and who can talk to whom. So when I touch the co-pilot and the passenger tabs, all right, notice we have this feature of sync to the pilot. Five, level okay. 2, if we select sync to the pilot, whatever we do on the pilot tab, it applies to everyone on board the aircraft. If I wanted to create a situation... Looks like they are descending. Yep, they're definitely descending. And then you want to continue your flight plan? Maybe they're going into downtown. But, so let's say we wanted to create a situation for our passengers. They do not want to listen to air traffic control. So I'm going to deselect sync to the pilot. Then I'm going to scroll and I'm going to find COM1, COM2. And I'm turning off them monitoring COM1 and COM2. Okay. So... The current setup, everyone on board can talk to each other, but they do not hear air traffic control. Okay. Obviously, a lot of times, you know, our passengers love listening to ATC. The easy way to turn it back on would be sync to pilot. Sure. Four, five, that's correct. Okay. Turn left heading zero, four, zero. Same zero. thing with our co-pilot, but the big thing for co-pilot... So, uh, four, nine, or zero, descend to maintain three thousand. If we wanted us to talk on a radio simultaneously... Currently, our co-pilot, if he keyed their mic on their side stick, they would be transmitting on radio number two. All right, the right, co-pilot yeah. is, is hearing COM1 and COM2. Correct, but I'm transmitting. No, you would be transmitting. Oh, this is co-pilot transmitting. Let's That's co-pilot. The pilot uh, is transmitting on COM1. On oh, very good. That's how we do split radio operations okay, in the no Gen 7. we no longer select both of them at the same time, maybe? Correct. You can't really do that. Okay, good. So you have to go to the separate page to actually yep. to do that. Awesome. Good. I want mine back on. So just pilot. go just go back to sync to pilot. Yeah, right there. Good. All right. So if I want to listen to my, my nav radios, I touch it. I can four, five, manually eight, zero, five, zero, tune nine. in. Zero, five, zero, I'm heading, zero, five. A freak 
and or I could have gone one one three seven transfer if I knew a VOR or a localizer freak. Yeah. Okay. I could do the same thing with the radios here. I could turn on the marker beacon. Not quite sure why I would do that. This is another location to control your music. We are going to turn off the speaker. And then if you had paired your phone all right, to the audio panel, this is where you would be controlling it. Okay. And we'll talk uh, pairing the phone to the audio panel on the next leg. All right, sounds good. 